Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Please invite your friends and let us share some education for today. Uh, let me know please if I have any difficulty, if you have any problem with the voice. My Skype right now is not open, so don't call me. Later we can open it. One of the issues a human being suffer from is accepting each other's and to be considered as one family a human being when he turned into evil he tried to take advantage of someone who looked different or he believed different from someone he speak different so he can abuse that person for his benefit racism was never about uh, I'm I'm better really maybe in, even though they say like you know we are better racism simply is about subjugating someone else to be your slave or to be uh, nothing to you so you can use him abuse him in the way you like racism is a mafia mentality that if you are not part of our mafia you know we will humiliate you we have the right to punish you to beat you to take your money racism is a very ugly behavior human being involved in it now we want to see what Islam is about is Islam as a racist religion or it is not all of us we heard Muslims speaking about in the last sermon of the Prophet I don't know how many of you heard it where Muhammad he says there is no difference between a black and white but what Muslims do not say to you that this hadith is fabricated this is Islamic website ask a question and the answer is here a Muslim asking question if the last sermon is authentic he is saying, I have heard, it is weak and even fabricated. Then you can read the rest and you will see that this is a very, even here in the, in, in the, in the answer, they say, uh, this is a morsel. You know, the Muslims, when we say to them a morsel hadith, they say, oh, this is a morsel, we don't accept it. This is false. We don't really know. This is, this is, what I, this is morsel. So look how they deceive you. When a hadith like this to deceive you, which is rejected by them, they use it to fool you and to make you believe the prophet he was speaking against racism. There's no difference between white and black. The prophet said that. But what they will not tell you that they don't accept this is story. This is story is only for you to fool you. Are we clear? And you can read the whole answer there, you know. And they are trying to say to you, well, you know, etc. But uh, the Quran says that uh, Allah He made us nations to know each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm? But the answer is very simple. This is a fabricated hadith. Okay. And they start for quoting for you different hadith have nothing to do even with the question. So let us see today. If Muhammad is a white supremacist person, how important it is to be white in Islam? This is one of many books, the book of Asir al Nabawiyya, the biography of the Prophet, Kitab al Shifa, Bitarif al Hukuk al Mustafa, the book of uh, Shifa, which means Shifa like is a you know usually it's like a healing but here it can come like uh, to get what you need to know with the definition of the rights of al mustafa which mean muhammad muhammad they call him the mustafa one of his names which means the elect he is the elect here it says that the one who insulted the prophet he should be killed the one who insulted the prophet he should be killed وَمَنْ سَبَّ النَّبِيِّ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ يُقْتَلْ 
if you insult the prophet you must die but if we go down here we will see it says that the one who says that the prophet is a black he should be killed Let us see what is the hadith. وقال أحمد ابن أبي سليمان صاحب سحنون من قتل إن من قال إن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم كان أسود يقتل. The one who said the prophet is a black, he should be killed. This is page number five four three in the same book. So according to Islam, the true Islam, not uh, uh, Louis Farrakhan. Anyone who says the prophet was a black, he must be executed immediately. For this is an insult to the prophet. There is no way the prophet, with my respect to the black people, according to Islam, he is a black. Because Islam consider being a black, and we will explain being a black. That's mean you are a bad person. That's mean you are a sinner. That's mean you are cursed. So how you say he's black? This is according to Islam. And we will prove it. Now, a Muslim might say to you, well, so what if some scholars, they say the one who say the prophet is a black, kill him. But this is not only one person. I mean, all your scholars, they say the same. This is not about a person or two. This is Noor al-Islam, official Islamic website, as you see. I don't know if the screen coming good for you. Is it coming good? Um, I think you don't see. Hold on. I'm just trying to see what you guys you see in the screen with me. Okay. Give me a second. By the way, before we continue, I have a very good news for all of us. Uh, my book in Spanish is going to be published out in a few days from now. For those who speak Spanish, the translation of the deception of Allah is going to be out very soon I hope by the end of the week so uh, if you know people who speak Spanish please let them know and finally the Spanish people they can learn the truth about Islam and nobody can lie to them no more all right and this is how the design is as you see it and the name of the book in the front of you in a Spanish language and this is my design uh, I hope you like it now we go back to the topic <clears throat> so this is an official Islamic website the judgment of Sharia on disrespecting the beloved Prophet in this what disrespecting the beloved Prophet
let us go here and see what one of the things you can die for if you insult the prophet he can kill you if you say something wrong about the prophet he will kill you I mean anything the ulama agree that anyone who reveals reviles the prophet and this the this, this spray is in him and uh, him in as an believer and uh, uh, the threat of Allah punishment or the threat of Allah punishment on him the community of judgment on him or ju judgment on him that he to be killed anyone who has any doubt about such a uh, person this belief punishment is also unbeliever so if you insult the prophet like me I have to be killed according to Islam and if you even if I am a Muslim if you if you take my side you too you have to be killed even if you're a Muslim and here the scholars they are saying I do not know anyone any Muslim who disagree about necessity of killing such a person if he is a Muslim uh, and anyone who is not a Muslim still he will be killed but let us see to the topic where it says the one who say the Prophet is a black in English because I show it to you in Arabic and I need to show it to you in English here we go if anyone who says that the prophet was a black should be killed do you see it you see here the Muslim did not make too much of comments but I think it's a clear for you isn't it this is their website this is not mine this is not Christian Prince saying that Is the is the text coming clear to you guys? Is the text coming clear? If you see the prophet is a black, you should be killed immediately. Here we need to ask ourselves why. You see, when I move in this house where I live, I found a picture. I don't believe in pictures anyway, for Jesus as a black person. And actually, I still have it in my house. I did not take it off. Well, why I want to take it off? I mean, I don't believe in pictures anyway. But Jesus is a black. Jesus is white. Why I want to care? I mean, he's black. In the picture, they have him like in a dark skin. Was I offended? Why I will be? Let us say Jesus was black. Am I going to follow him? Absolutely. What if he wasn't born in uh, in Asia? Am I going to follow him? Absolutely. Why, if you say the prophet is a black, you should be killed? No, he's. It's not saying if the prophet is a black should be killed. If he, it's saying if he said, the one who's posting in Arabic looked like your Arabic. I don't know what what kind of Arabic you have. It doesn't say if you if 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 the prophet was a black should be killed. If you say the prophet is a black, you should be killed. All right. And here we need to understand what is behind what is the logic behind that. Why? Okay, let's say somebody says the prophet uh, is a black, or he was a black, or you know. I mean, why I want to kill him? What what he did exactly deserved the punishment of death? What is the mentality behind this teaching? And by the way, this is the link for those who might say, oh, Christian Prince, this is not a Muslim website. Who want to have a link? Who want to have it? Who want to have it and he promised me to save it? I will post it only if you people, you promise me to save it. All right. 
the guy saying in Arabic is not as he is saying it says in the Nabi sallallahu alayhi my friend they are they are copying the, the result in the in the, uh, which means whoever says whoever says in the Nabi sallallahu alayhi they are saying to you the one who do this what is the punishment for him so if you say that the prophet is a black you should be slaughtered All right, and look, look here what they are saying. He was told about a man whom some some uh, someone said, "This is now this is this is second. You see, this is number fifteen. Here, number fifteen about the prophet. Uh, uh, if you say he is black, you shall be killed. And then number sixteen talking about which mean they are saying you are saying the prophet is ugly." The prophet is ugly, and that's why you should be killed. How dare you to say the prophet is a black, or how dare you to say the prophet is ugly according to them? What is behind this racism, and why, if somebody says the prophet is a black, should be killed? Here we need to go and see the roots of the story. Shall we? This is a hadith mentioned by Muhammad. And he said, Allah Messenger, I don't know if the text is clear for you. Let me make it bigger. Hold on. Maybe now it's better. Oh, that's too big, I think. Okay, I think now it's better. Allah Messenger said, who is the one who said that? Take a note, it's not a Christian prince. It's not a Abdul. It is Allah Messenger. And when Allah Messenger he says, that's mean he, he uh, God is speaking, Allah is speaking, the God of Islam. He said, Allah created Adam. And when he created, when he had to create him, and he struck his right shoulder, and they are emitted from, from it white offspring, as if they were white ants. So the white people, they are created from the right shoulder. Let us take a note about that. <clears throat> if you are a white person, Allah created you from the right shoulder of Mr. Adam. According to Muhammad. And then Allah, he created He created uh, the black people. He struck his left shoulder, which means the shoulder of Adam, and from there emitted from it the black of spring, as if they were charcoal. Okay, so if you are a black person, you are created by Allah striking the shoulder, the left shoulder of Adam. So now we knew where you coming from and where I'm coming from. And then Muhammad continues saying. And then he said to those who they are emitted from the right shoulder, which means the white, go for paradise. And I don't care. In the translation, they say, I don't mind. In fact, it says in Arabic, I don't care. Then, which means actually the same, I don't mind. Then he said, and those who had emitted from the left shoulder, which means the black, he said to them, go to hell, and I don't mind. Is that a white supremacist belief or not? 
this is beyond why it's up this is this is very ugly this is about even God God is a white supremacist and he believed that he created the white people to go to heaven and the black people they are according to him evil and they should go to hell so since the beginning the God of Islam when he created white and black he have a plan that black According to Allah, they are for hell, and he don't mind. And white, they are for paradise, and he don't mind. Now, if this is not one million times ugly from what they call white supremacist, what is this? Do we have any Muslim in the chat? Who agree with this? Do you agree that black people they are made to go to hell? And just because you are born white, you go to heaven? What logic is that? What wisdom is that? Obviously, such a person who says such a statement is not only a racist, he have a mental issue. He have clearly a mental issue, and he have, as you know, you see, this is this is evil. This is evil. Me myself, I met black people. They are better than my family to me. I'm not black, but they are wonderful, beautiful people. I mean, what, what white and black? Since when? I mean, what kind of religion the religion says black people go to hell? And look here, how ugly even the story that you are created. You did not do sin. It's not doesn't matter about sin you did. No, no, no. You are created white, you go to heaven. You are created black, you go to hell. I told you once I have a I have a neighbor once I left my house to do shopping and looked like the the garage door stuck did not come down it was cold I came I found my neighbor who's a black man sitting having a chair in front of my garage I told him what are you doing why, why you're here he said you left, you left your garage open I said just hit the thing inside the garage and it's going to close you sit here all this time I'm out for two hours he said I was afraid if I get in somebody will say he got inside his house Imagine how nice he sat for two hours in the front of my garage guard, you know guarding my house And he is a black man. He is not from my family He is I don't even visit him. I mean like, you know, I'm busy all day As you see during the time I, I prefer not to be to come to me and during the time uh, doing broadcast a date I mean, I, I don't really too much associate with people But look how nice He took a chair. He sat in the front of my door Guarding my house, and I have many, many stories about wonderful black people. I know a white man who drove me with me three days. He is not from my family, he is not a relative, he is an American. I am a Middle Eastern, which means I am not even from the same ethnic. He don't even know my real name, or what he knew. I am a Christian prince. Three days driving with me, with his truck, carrying and moving my stuff with him for zero money. What a black and white have to do with you being bad or good? Look at the Muslims here. They are trying to take off our topic from the topic because this is embarrassing. The Muslim now he is worried about Jesus praying to who? He is not worried about his prophet, the racist, the ugly, evil teaching. This is what you are worried about because you are evil. Jesus was praying to who? To his father. The Christian believed in the Trinity. But Allah, when he prayed to Muhammad, he was praying to who? But don't worry. You cannot take us away from our topic. 
how embarrassing let us ask questions have nothing to do with the topic so he will stop exposing our profit my Bible was used for racism you have to prove it you have to prove it it's a lie isn't it the Bible says there's no Greek there's no Roman there's no there's no Hebrew there's no free there's no slaves for all of us we are one in Jesus what racism this is the Bible teaching isn't it the apostle of Jesus who obey the order of the Messiah to go and teach all the world for God he loved the world he sent his only begotten son the world is it Saint Thomas is the first apostle who went all the way to India and now his old ancient church is one of the most established church in India is it the fact that the first people who believe in Christianity from the early time of, of, of Christianity it was Ethiopian and African is it the Coptic Egyptian are from the earliest church of Christianity and they are African you're a liar my friend you are a liar you're a prophet as you see because you cannot answer you are trying to fabricate stories the messiah he said from their fruits you shall know them and what they will say to you that the white man in a certain time he enslaved the black people the fact the white man at that time he committed a crime against humanity yes but he was buying even at that time he was buying the captured slaves by muslims in north africa until now the biggest countries who do slavery officially i mean widespread is islamic countries in north africa go right now search in the year 2019 Slaves in Mauritania, slaves in Libya, slaves in Emirat, slave in Saudi Arabia, so even when the white man goes ugly, he was partner with the Muslims, buying capture a slave from the Muslims. Now we continue about Muhammad supremacist of being white why why Muhammad always he consider the ugly one the bad one the sinner one is someone is a black according to his belief uh when the muslim described their prophet they describe him that he was white like the sun very shiny face the muslims they describe muhammad as a beautiful white man And here I need to ask myself, why always the Muslim they speak about his color? Why it's so important? I mean, we read the whole Bible, we don't see one phrase, neither in the book of John or Mark, or etc., saying what was the color of Jesus. Any one of you saw where it says what Jesus' color was? Any one of you saw a verse in the Bible says what the color of the hair of Jesus, the eyes of Jesus, the face of Jesus, the skin of Jesus? nowhere why it's important to speak about the color of Muhammad it is extremely important I understand if you describe for me somebody because he's wanted we need to arrest him right but he's a prophet of God Muhammad always he claim that black color is a is a color of sin 
Read carefully with me so you can understand the mentality of this fake prophet. The Messenger of Allah said, The black stone descended from paradise, and it was more white than milk. Then it was blackened by the sin of the children of Adam. What we understand from this? What made the whites... Oh, look, look, look with me here carefully. The black stone, the most holy stone for the Muslims, which every Muslim kiss it, is not black. You see, many people, they say, okay, well, Islam, if Islam is a religion, uh, hate the black color. So how come there a black stone is a black stone? It is not black. This is sin. That is sin. The stone itself is white. Not only white, it is whiter than milk. So the outside is a black, that is sin, but that not, not the stone. Because sin is a black in Islam. And I think I do not need to explain to you more. I mean, I don't know how low IQ the person will be. I think the hadith in front of us making it clear that sin make you black. Is that correct, people? What made the black stone black, according to Muhammad? Sin. It was blackened by the sin of the children of Adam, not by anything else. So, if I am a black, according to Muhammad, sin made me black. And I challenge any Muslim to say, oh, this is not what the Prophet is saying. Right? A person, his name is Fahim. He said to me, I will show you what he said. I like to share the comment of the Muslims to give them a window to express themselves. Fahim, he said, CP, the sin made black stone uh, black, but not the people. You do not understand. Okay, how I can refute Fahim? Didn't we just show you a minute ago the hadith where your prophet said that Allah created the black people to go to hell? Isn't that enough? Obviously, it's not. So I have to show something else. But let us re like a review again the hadith of your prophet saying that Allah, he created the black people to go to hell. This is your prophet saying that he created Allah. He created, when he created Adam, he hit Adam in his right shoulder. And from the right shoulder, he created the white of spring. And then he struck the left shoulder of Adam and then from there emitted the black of spring as if they were circle and then he said to the one from the right shoulder go to paradise and those are the white and those who they are emitted from the left shoulder go to hell and those are the black so what do you mean this is not about black and uh, you know a human being this is about stone now let us show another proof shall we let us do that I mean, I like it when a Muslim, he try to play smart. But you cannot do that with me, sorry. It doesn't work. Not with the Christian prince. And you know better. All right. <clears throat> Um, okay. This is the story of Noah and his children.
Nyt se iso. That Ham, he had sex with his wife in the ship, the son of Noah. And the reason for his look to be ugly, according to the writing, with his sperm, because his father, he cursed him. The Muslim, they say that in the Bible, it says that the father, he cursed his son, and he said he would be a servant for his brothers. That is a prophecy. Because a man, he cannot curse you and make you, uh, he's not God. Anyway, this is a prophecy about what will happen to this person. Here, the Muslims adopting the same story, but they are giving it, uh, giving it their own explanation. That he is born with a bad look, even with the sperm have a bad look. Because he did not cover his father when he was naked. What is the page number? Let us see. Okay, let us see. This is one, value number 187. So as you see, all reference in the front of us is saying it clearly one thing. Read this word with me and see. <clears throat> Animals who they are black in Islam, they are evil. Whenever the messenger of Allah set out for a journey, he would say, by the nightfall, Ya Ardu Rabbi, etc. I mean, look at the this is a supposed translation. Why well, you are putting it in Arabic but in English letters? So the Muslim can repeat the same. Okay. Asadin Aswad didn't translate it. He is asking Allah from every evil refuge, from every evil walk in the ground. And is specifically a black lion. Down, the Muslims explain what the Prophet he meant. Iblis wa ma walad. Iblis, which means, uh, I think you know Iblis. This is a this is a Greek word originally. Uh, shaitan, the first shaitan, and his offspring. Here they translate it as the following I seek refuge in Allah from the lion, black uh, uh, serpent, scorpion, or anything black, and from the inhabitants of the place, and from the parent, i.e., shaitan and his offspring. The black animals. The black, as you see here, they are the offspring of the devil. Guys, yeah, is it clear? All what he counted there, they are black. All of them, they share one thing. They are black. And those are black things. Muhammad is scared to death from them because they are the offspring of the devil. Not only that, Muhammad, he claimed that the black dog or any animal who is black must be killed. Narrated from Abdullah that the Messenger of Allah said, if you were not that dogs were part of nation among nations, then I would order all of them to be killed. 
so kill every one of them that is all black are we lying If you look at the comments of the Muslims, you see how much the Muslims are so upset from exposing the racism of the cult of Islam. A poor dog, just because he is a black, if I believe in Muhammad now, I have to kill him. How evil. How evil. If this is not evil for you, what is evil? Hmm? Let me introduce to you the enemy of Allah. This guy is the devil I mean it's obvious isn't it this is the enemy of Allah and he is shaitan I mean look at him obviously he is shaitan look at this guy look how he's looking at us and look his mouth and look at his mouth hmm and he is wearing a, a, a yellow t-shirt, which make it is even more horrible. Look like he joined Hezbollah, maybe. But they, he cannot join Hezbollah. They, they will kill him. This is the enemy of Allah. Let us find another enemy of Allah to see the to see how the wisdom of Muhammad work. I'm just trying to understand how the wisdom of Muhammad work. I'm really convinced with this guy that he is a prophet of Allah. I mean, obviously, he is a prophet of Allah. What are you talking about? This is, let me introduce to you, the sister of the black dog, which is evil too, and she is shaitan too. And look, she is going to party now, shaitan party. Do you think the prophet is making things up? No way. The prophet don't lie. And everything he say, it must be true. This is shaitan. According to the Prophet of Allah, peace upon him, this is shaitan. And why? Because this is a black dog. And 1.4 billion believe in such an idiot belief. Hey, Shaitan, how are you? Do you like to say anything to the Muslims? You are scaring the hell of them. They never saw Shaitan before until they met you. Do you speak Arabic, English? What, what, do, you, what do you speak? Oh, oh, oh. I see. Hey, Shaitan. He agreed. This is Shaitan. I mean, who is the stupid here in this story? You want to convince me that Muhammad is a prophet of God and he is not racist? And he is not a white supremacist, but yet anything is a black, we should kill him. Anything is a black is evil, including human, animals, anything, even a poor, you know, a stupid dog. I am truly, truly convinced that Muhammad is a prophet of God. Let us find you another shaitan to Allah. I mean, maybe this one is not convincing for you until now. It is fine. Look at this one. Obviously, this one is really Satan. Look at this guy. See, he's a challenge in Allah. He's looking at the sky now. How dare you? How dare you to challenge Allah and look at the sky? And you are just 
a shaitan puppy. How evil. Put your head down. Like the Muslims, they saw you already. So you want to tell me that your prophet is a prophet? Yet he say that if a, if a dog he is a black, he must be killed. You know, how a human of us to kill a poor dog like this? And what is the reason? Like, not because if Muhammad, he says, if he did bite you, I understand maybe he is a bad dog, maybe he is a sick dog, maybe, maybe. It's just because of a black dog. It's just because of the color. Just because he is a poor black dog, we kill him. Isn't it really this is a pure evil? If this is not a pure evil, imagine you are walking in the street and you see a guy, he claimed that he is following the prophet now and he want to practice what the prophet he said. He shot that dog in front of you or he cut his head. If this is not evil against a black color, what is evil then? Do we have any Muslim want to say something? Or what they say to us, the Prophet, peace be upon him. Yeah, I can't tell how much peace he have in his heart and how much mercy this guy he was. The Prophet, by the way, he said, they, they have a hadith says that if a guy, he gave a water for a dog, he will enter heaven. Yeah, right. What about the dog who, the guy who killed the dogs? Actually, Muhammad, he said it clearly that he ordered to kill all the dogs in the beginning. And then the people they start complaining. He said, "Okay, okay, okay, okay. Don't kill all the dogs. Kill, kill only the black one." Somebody saying you do not know the context. You tell me the context. No problem. Tell me what is the context of killing a black dog, Abdul? <laughs> Guys, you don't know the context of the story. You tell me. Here we go. It says, "Okay, let us make it more clear. Maybe this context is not clear. Let us find a different story." I mean, come on. Uh, you see all those hadith saying the same, but let us see here. Because now we are we have to ask Muhammad, what is the reason? Read careful with me. The message of Allah for sure may peace upon him by the way it doesn't say peace upon him it says Allah, so Allah pray on him and salute him say when any of you stand in the prayer etc etc and then he says that there's a three things will interrupt the prayer of a Muslim a woman and a donkey and the women and a black dog do you see it a woman a donkey and a black dog those things they make your prayer invalid by passing by, just by passing by. So Muhammad, he made women equal to dogs and donkeys. Thank you, Muhammad. But actually here you see that uh, women are lucky. They are putting between two uh, nice animals, dogs and donkeys. Hmm. And here you notice, you ask yourself, I mean, why my prayer will be interrupted by walking a dog he walked by or a donkey the donkey is black too go to the Middle East you will see them they are dark and here he noticed he did not say a white dog he did not say a yellow dog he said a black dog then Abu Dhar I said oh Abu Dhar Abu Dhar is the companion of the Prophet the guy is asking him why the prophet he said that what feature is there in the black dog which distinguish it from the red dog or yellow dog i mean why why only black dog he said oh the son of my brother i ask the messenger of allah the same as you asked me which mean what distinguish the black dog from the yellow dog or the red dog he said the black dog is the devil 
Am I taking things out of context? Abdul's? We have a Muslims. Look at look at the Muslims in the chat, how crazy they are going. But they can't answer me. You call me coward, you call me whatever you want. The coward is the one who killed a, a poor little tiny dog just because he's a black. The coward is the one who says that Allah created the black people to go to hell. Not me. And that is your prophet. Am I making things up? This is even your Islamic website. Alilm.org. Do you see the Muslim website? Look, look, look there. How beautiful the Muslim website. Alilm.org. Now you tell me, Christian Prince is lying? Liar! Liar! You are a liar. So instead of being ashamed of such a cult, they call me names. I am not the one who says that a black dog is the devil. Somebody saying maybe Muhammad he have a phobia. My friend, you see, I don't know how people they think. A person he have a phobia, he don't say I kill them because they are the devil. I'm scared of dogs okay somebody is scared of dogs but he will not say they are the devil and he will not say what about I mean the, the black dog only have teeth the rest they don't have teeth they don't bite so let us not to be silly he have phobia from dogs Muhammad he said kill every black animal not only this even a snake even anything anything is a black pure black is evil this is why when the Muslim they say a crow they, they say, I seek refuge by Allah because supposedly he is shaitan, he is evil. Somebody saying, Was Bilal a black slave? He's a slave, and Muhammad did not slave, free him. Even, even the poor Bilal, he came to Abu Bakr, he says, If you bought me for the sake of Allah, free me for the sake of Allah. If you bought me for yourself, keep me for yourself. Stop lying to me, which means, you know, come on. The Muslim, they say to you, the first one who called for the prayer for Allah is Bilal because he's a slave. The white man is sleeping. He don't want to woke up. It says it clearly in the Hadith that the Prophet ordered Bilal to do the Adhan. He did not say, hey, Bilal, do you like to do the Adhan, brother? No, he ordered Bilal. Obviously, Islam is nothing but a racist cult. There's tons of videos describing for you how beautiful Muhammad was. There's a video, I, I wish I can play it for you. The guy in the video, he says that a companion, a companion, he was walking the street at night. And then he saw the prophet coming and he saw the moon. And then he said, I look at the moon and I look at the prophet. I look at the moon. And I look at the Prophet. I look at the moon and I look at the Prophet. I look at the moon and I look at the Prophet. I mean, if you watch the video, you will die laughing. I wish I can play it for you. All of this to say to us that the Prophet is whiter than the moon. I saw the Prophet. I look at the moon. I look at the Prophet. I look at the moon. I look at the Prophet. I look at the moon again and I look at the prophet and I look at the moon and I look at the prophet and I look at the moon and I look at the prophet and guess what the prophet is more white than the moon takbir allahu akbar the muslims even they Med do meditation with the color of his underarm. I mean, do you see how important the topic?
the whiteness of the under arm of the prophet became visible wow mean what let me get a pen let me get a pen i need to write this this is history this is history we saw the under arm of the prophet and it was so white brother i feel i want to cry Different hadith. Maybe this one is not satisfaction enough. Have enough satisfaction for the Muslims. Look at this one. Look at this one. He spread his hands from the armits so that I saw their whiteness. The guy. I. I hope that this guy was not doing uh, some. You know. It's like watching porn here. I mean, why this guy is so excited for seeing the whiteness of the under arm of the prophet? And look how many times the same stories are reported. Muslims are seeing his under arm. It's so white, brother. It's so white. Do you see it? We can show you tons and tons of stories like this. The white belly bomb of the prophet. The white under arm of the prophet. The white cheek of the prophet. The white face of the prophet. Let us see. What kind of a genie we can kill? By the way, uh, the translation is not too much accurate, but we will let it go. Kill all snakes. By the way, Muhammad, he taught Muslims that snakes are genie. Mm -hmm. They are genie. Kill all the snake except the little white one by the way it doesn't say little this is false translation except the white one so all the snakes are genie the black one is shaitan for sure you have to kill it but if it is white let it go let us continue This one about Muhammad saying that the black dog is shaitan again. He did not say he is evil. He said he is shaitan. You see, you, you need to be careful when you when you try to understand Muhammad mentality. He is not saying that the black dog is an evil dog. He is identifying him as shaitan. He is the shaitan himself. Shaitan, he take a shape of a black dog. That's what Muhammad is saying. This is not about black dog is just evil. He is the shaitan himself. He is Satan. Let us continue. The Messenger of Allah, S-A-W, used to say salam to his right and salam to his left, blah, 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 and then until the whiteness of his right cheek would, could be seen. I mean, always, always I wanted to have a white cheek. But... Pfft, what I can do. 
because obviously if I became a person who have a white cheek and under my arm is white and my face is white then the Muslims they will make me a prophet actually there is a video in YouTube let me try to find it hold on give me a second Let me put you with my coming Spanish book for a second until I find the video so we can love together. This is my coming Spanish book, will be out in a few days from now in Amazon. Okay, let us search for. Guys, this is a video made by Muslims. You can search for the title. You can search for a title. Let me show you the screen. This is how, according to Muslim, that the descendant of the Prophet look like. You can search for the same title. I am not going to uh, to play the video because they might say this is copyrighted, etc. So this guy, the redhead in the top, Muslims believe he is descendant. His name is Muhammad Sheikh Muhammad Al Yaqubi. He is descendant of the Prophet. He's a redhead. And look at the guy underneath of him. This guy too is descendant of the Prophet. Peace upon him. Now, how we can be sure that he is for sure descended from the Prophet? Very simple. I mean, don't you see? He is a redneck. If he is not descendant, there is no way he will really look like this or like that. And by the way, if you see the guy, this guy here, he have eyeliner the same as the prophet. Do you see his eyeliner? I don't know if you can see it. This is the title, just to show you, I'm not making things up. The descendant of the prophet. Muhammad White grandson. Oh, this is uh, somebody posted by uh, Act 17, okay. <laughs> but anyway, this is true. This guy, his name is Muhammad Yaqubi. You can search his name in Google. And he claimed that he is descended from the Prophet of Allah. And actually, this guy, for me, looks scary. I mean, what he did to his face? What is that? A makeup? What is that? What he did? His eyebrows is gone. Um, okay, uh, uh, let it go. So this is how the Muslims, they view their own prophet descendant, not us. White snake should not be killed. All black snakes should be killed. Now, after speaking about all of this, it's time to go to the Quran. What the Quran says about black and white. <clears throat> Chapter 3, verse 106. Allah said that those who they are going to be black they are the believers and those who they are going to be 
the, the one who will be white, the believers, and the one who Allah will blacken their faces, those who the one disbelieve. Guys, is that Quran or I'm making things up? Muslims, is that a weak Quran? And those who Allah made their faces white, they will have party. Now, what the Muslim they will say to me? The Muslim they will say to me, this is a metaphorical thing. Shall we get them busted? Guys, is that a metaphor metaphorical? Who of you believe that this is metaphorical? Who is a Muslim here, especially if you're a Muslim? Who of you believe that this is metaphorical? Chapter 3, 106, chapter 3, 107. Who is a Muslim? He have the courage to say to me, this is metaphorical. Who want to challenge me to prove that this is not metaphorical? Anyone? There's other verse in the Quran, chapter 27, verse number 82, the chapter of the end. As you know, the Quran is like the zoo spider elephants ants you name it so if we go to the interpretation of the quran we will find this and we are going to use an english translation for the interpretation which is not really an accurate translation because you know they lie when they translate and actually they cut most of it out chapter 27 the end chapter the end who speak and talk and can hear and the Suleiman he heard her speech Verse number 82 is speaking about a beast. It's called al jassasa is going to come from the ground. And this beast, al jassasa is going to hold the stick of Moses and the ring of Solomon. You know, you watch all of you who reporter where it says that there's a ring. You can control the world if you have it. That ring was exist literally with the prophet Solomon, according to Muhammad. And here Muhammad described for us the following. That there is a beast will emerge from the earth and with it will be the staff of Moses and the ring of Solomon. And then is going to strike the nose of this believer with the staff. So this beast will hit me with the staff of Moses in my nose. Boing. And is going to hit the face of the believer with the ring of Solomon. Okay. And then people will recognize each other by believe or disbelieve. How they do that? Let us see. Read with me carefully. This beast who Muhammad described it as the following. It was recorded by Ibn Majah, blah, 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 that the beast say, the, the beast and said, its head like the head of a bull, its eyes like the eyes of a pig, its ears like the ears of an elephant, the horn is like an, uh, a horn of a stag, its neck is like the neck of an ostrich, his chest like the chest of a lion, his color like the color of a tiger. It's a, a, to make it simple, it's this all the zoo. Allah, He put it in a mixer and He make that beast. Just to make it simple, I mean, this is endless. And then He says, It will bring out the staff of Musa and the ring of Solomon, and there will be no believer left without making a white spot in his face which will spread until his face is shining white as a result. This is not metaphorical. This is not metaphorical. This is a real animal and have the ring of Solomon and the staff of Moses. The staff of Moses will make us black based on the page in the page before this one and the ring of Solomon he hit us with it if you are a Muslim and as a result he will make little tiny spot of whiteness in your face and then all your face will be shining white as which means not only you will be white you will be white the same as the guy in the video so so white extreme hmm? 
So when they say to you that this is a metaphorical, they align and look, read with me carefully, and there will be there will be no disbeliever left without making a black spot on his face, which will spread until his face is black as a result. Then when the people trade in with one another in the marketplace, they will say, How much this this oh believer? How how they knew he's a believer because he's white. How much is this? Oh, this believer. How they knew he is this believer because now he is a black. So if they say to you that this is was a metaphorical thing, it's a lie. As you see, even people would recognize each other by color in the judgment day. All the bad ones, like me, we will be black. Finally, I'm going to turn black. All my life, I wanted to be black, brother, so I can get a girlfriend. Thank you, Allah. Finally, I will be black. What's wrong with being black? Look how filthy this cult is. All the believers, Allah make them white, and all these believers, it's a penalty to be black. It's a punishment to be black, according to Islam. That is nothing but a white supremacist belief. Somebody asking me, are you holding yourself to the topic? What does that mean? I mean, don't we have a topic? So we will talk about talk about how to make hummus. What else you need to prove to you that Islam obviously is a white man religion and teaching ugliness and evil against the black color and the black evil teaching. That, let us say teaching evil as against black goes not only to human even to animals what about uh shaitan is a black and he is an ethiopian guy shaitan According to Muhammad is a black man and he is from Ethiopia and look Muhammad He is making fun of the look of a black man because they have thin legs Ethiopian people they have thin legs, you know, maybe I mean poor etc. So he is saying The one who will destroy the Kaaba this shaitan He is an Ethiopian man and he is a black and making fun of the look of his legs Not only that, Muhammad he claimed that the most hateful person to Allah is who? Anyone remember? Is a black. The most person Allah he hate is what? Is he? Just any man? No. He is a black person. Read carefully with me, please. Let me make it a little bit bigger. The Prophet said, the most hateful among the creation of Allah is a black man from among them. There's a group of people Allah he hate very much, but the most hateful person for all mankind is a black man. Do we need more proofs? Do we really need more proofs? 
Shaitan is a black. Black dog is Shaitan. Black animal is Shaitan. Ethiopian man is Shaitan. The most person Allah he hate is a black man. The one who will destroy the Kaaba is a black man. Allah created the children of Adam black and white and he said to the black people go to hell because they are black and he said to the white people go to heaven because they are white. What more you need to prove that Allah is an evil God who teach racism and he teach that the white is the good ones and the black is the evil. As you see, nothing from my pocket. This is your books. This is your religion. This is your prophet. Even stones, they get black because of sin. Otherwise, the black stone of Allah was whiter than milk, as we showed you. If you remember, even stones can be affected by sin and transform the outside color into black because sin make you black, according to Muhammad. Now, who of you believe in such a garbage? Me, myself, I don't. I believe there is a black people who they are extremely wonderful. And there is white people who they are extremely wonderful. And there is Asian people who they are extremely wonderful. And vice versa. They can be ugly from each one of the groups. And I'm talking about the ugliness of behave. And by the way, when Allah, he spoke about black and white how he created them what about the asian allah he did not hear about the asian muhammad he did not see them so he did not mention them muhammad he saw only white and black okay so allah he created the white men from the right shoulder of adam and he said to the white men go to heaven he created the black man from the left shoulder of adam and he said to him go to hell what about the asian where did allah created them from what happened Muhammad, he never heard of the Asian. He, he did not see them. <laughs> they don't live around. He saw only black slaves and he saw only white people. White people go to heaven, black people go to hell, according to this mad cult leader. There is no human being. He respects his, 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 his humanity. He will believe in such a garbage. And then they try to lie to Muslims who they are black or try to lie to you to convert you to Islam. They say to you, so what if you are black? If you remember, guys, when Obama was elected for to be president and he was the first black president to be in USA. Actually, he's not even black. I mean, Obama is, you know, is mixed. But let it go. After less than a month, the king of Saudi Arabia, for the first time ever in the history of Islam, they hire a black imam to pray in the Kaaba. And he did not stay there for long, two weeks, and they took him off. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Uh, uh, Fee, you don't speak Arabic anyway. You quote for me and you say to me, I accept Islam as religion. Guys, look what this guy he said to me. Just to show you, just to show you the stupidity of this cult. Do you want to see? I mean, this is why Muslims don't dare to call me, by the way, because whatever they say is going to be used against them. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Okay. Allah is, uh, when you say Allah Akbar, it means Allah is bigger. Bigger from what? Akbar is the same as in, in English. We say greater. Uh, for size okay bigger than what and can you compare God to anything else how stupid is that secondly he says I accept Allah and Islam as religion 
Let me show you something the Quran said you will die laughing from that You brought that yourself not me. I mean, sorry. You are the one who reminded me <laughs> It's your fault It's your fault my friend next time don't do that Read with me carefully and die laughing about I accept Islam as religion. Chapter 5, verse number 3. Allah speaking. And when Allah speak, please hold yourself because you die laughing from the wisdom. Muhammad, he told the Muslims, I forbid you from eating pork. And I forbid you from eating the following meat. And I forbid you from the following. And then right away after that, he said to them, This day, this day, I have perfected Islam for you. What? This day, I have. You have what, Muhammad? Please don't say that. Please don't go. This day I have perfected your religion for you and completed my favor upon you and chosen Islam as religion for you. This is what you said to me, right? I chosen Islam, you know, Alhamdulillah. So look what this in a chapter five verse. Let me go up. In chapter five, verse number three. The wise Allah saying to us that today Islam is completed. So what about the rest of the Quran? This is what for? If Islam is completed today, so what about the rest? All the 99 verses after that, what we would do with them, I mean chapters. Islam is completed and perfected. Why? Because you said to them, you cannot eat pork. That's it. Islam is completed. This is what Islam is about. Eat cheese kebab. Don't eat pork. Eat falafel. Don't eat hummus. And because of that, I said that to you. This day I have perfected your religion for you and completed my favor upon you and have it chosen Islam as religion for you. So what about the rest of the cha chapters? The only way for this story to be accurate is to be the last verse in the Quran. And yet the Muslim, they say to us, the Quran is brother was reserved. <laughs> this is religion? What a joke. What a joke. Now, I think we cover many, many things about the white supremacist religion of Islam. I'm not going to stay longer so you guys can download the video easier and faster. But did we have enough reference? Now, those who they might say to me, how we can get the reference you showed us on the screen? Guys, anytime you want to get the reference is easy. Stop the video. Copy a bunch of words as it is in the screen. Like a line. Like this. Search it in Google, you will find. Prophet Google will help you. He is better than Allah, I guarantee you that. Allah will bring nothing except racism, hatred, division, killing, and violence. Google can find things for you. And Google, after you search it, he will say to you, I perfected your search for you. And I choosing Google as a search engine for you. And this today, I completed my favor upon you. But then Google is doing better. But the guy who tell me that the black ones will go to hell, he is not perfected in my religion for me. And the one who says to me that the dog, black dog is evil and he's shaitan, he did not perfect my understanding. He corrupted me. And the one who says to me, if you kill somebody, I will give you 72 versions. He did not spread peace. He spread hatred and killing. And the one who says to me, I will make you have 70 euros orgasm. I mean, this guy, he is just trying to kill my time. 
70 years orgasm what about we make it 69 years 70 years that's it we are stuck 70 years so if my mother she want to visit me she come first year her son is having orgasm mom come don't open the door mom don't open the door i'm having orgasm come 70 years after now 70 years orgasm islam perfect religion Endless penis, one mile ass. The wife will have one mile ass. Which what I would do with her ass? Am I going to use her as a nuclear weapon or like a mass murderer farting attack weapon? Islam, brother, is the most beautiful wise religion, brother. If you want to read, by the way, about sexuality in Islam, don't forget to get my book, Sex and Allah. It has a lot of reference. Which is not maybe not maybe suitable for some ages. <laughs> Just be careful. I mean, the title is telling you the older story, right? The title is telling you all the story. Six and Allah. Uh, if you get, if you want to get like, uh, it's two volume. If you want to get like full reference for things. And by the way, those who speak French, please don't forget to tell your friends about my French book. Because not many people knows really about it. It's really a wonderful translated book, and uh, sadly, not many people knows about it because most of people who listen to me they are English speaking people. Now, Islam not only I find it very silly and very stupid. I find Islam is spreading evil. They try to fool us says Islam is about peace Islam I, I, you know I could not find that anywhere the Quran says kill them whatever you find them even cut their fingertips I mean torture torture is part of Islam even says a crucify them cut their hands and their feet in opposite direction torture not only killing and even Muhammad God he said in the Quran that Allah will heal the breast of the believers by killing and torturing and capturing and cutting necks of those who disbelieve yeah well if you get the French book my friend just tell your friends about it so more people will know about it until now really few people knows about it as you know all my videos are in English so people they get my English books mostly and there's German for sure German people they are enjoying my book too uh, but the French one is really very well done the translator he did a very great job the same as the Spanish one which is going to be published very soon uh, I hope in a few days from now we will have it out. This is the Spanish book. <clears throat> it's going to be out very soon. Anyway, so I hope we did cover, uh, we did not cover all the racism of Islam, but we, you know, let us say, uh, we cover a, a major point which is nobody can hide away from it and nobody can play games with it there's no way anyone he believe in a true god he will accept that somebody is black he is evil there's no way that a person who believe in a loving god he will accept somebody teaching him that somebody is born to be evil because he's a black that's not true that is not true and that is disgusting and this is the statement of Muhammad and this is his words and this is your books and this is your website and this is your translation I'm just reading it I did associate with all kind of people I went around the earth Last year, I visited how many countries? 10, 11? I don't know. I went Korea, China, uh, Philippines, even Thailand, uh, Europe, including Germany, uh, France, uh, Austria, uh, Bulgaria. I mean, I met all kinds of people.
And I cannot believe that somebody is teaching us to hate each other. He can be from God. I went to the Philippines and I saw how how nice those people are. They don't look like me. I don't look like them. But they were really nice to me. Same in many Asian countries. I did not get the honor really to go to Africa. Maybe one day I can do that. I don't know anybody there actually. But I would love really to go to Africa and live for some time between my brothers and sisters in Christ in Africa. Or even between those who don't believe in Christ so we can bring the gospel to them. My friend, being a black does not make you a bad person. It might be the opposite. Lately, I notice that there's many people preaching the gospel in Europe and they are black. I mean, look at this. The fishermen of Jesus, they are black. And now they are coming to save the white man from the deception of atheism and Islam. How beautiful. Black men, black women preaching the gospel in Europe. Fishing for the one who need to be saved. One day the white man, he went to Africa to help the black man. Today, the black man is helping the white man. That is Jesus, my friend. That is Jesus. It's not a guy who says to you, because I'm white, I'm better than others. It's not a guy who says to you that the black one will go to hell. That is absolutely lie. And what Jesus said about lies, all lies come from Satan. He is the father of all lies. And Muhammad, obviously, he don't believe in our father out in heaven. He believes in the father of all lies. For he is preaching racism and hatred against black people and division. You know, the first thing racism will do, bring war, bring destruction, bring violence bring hatred this is the only benefit if you can call it a benefit of racism nothing good nothing good at all and there's no way that this is can be from god the second you are under the infection of racism you yourself you are dead because your heart is a dead heart you don't belong to god you are going to go to hell. It doesn't matter what your color is. The second you are racist, you speak of color, you are just a person of that color. You are not a human no more. Forget about being white. Forget about being Asian. Forget about being black. Just be a human and believe in the only true God who made us all a family, descendant from one man. Jesus said, my friend, from their fruits, you shall know them. He did not say from their black color or white color or Asian color. From their fruits. Prepare your fruits and forget about your color. All the creatures of God, they are beautiful to him. And we are unique. You see, the Quran tried to make fun of the Christians. And the Quran says, huh, the stupid the Christian, they say they are the children of God. Allah refused that idea because Muhammad, he don't want a relationship between human and the father. He don't want that. In chapter 5, verse number 18, Muhammad is speaking to the Christians and the Jews, saying, They say we are the sons of God. Do you see it? Muhammad, he says, Well, if you are the sons of God, how come God, he punish you for your sin? How silly, how evil this logic is. Fathers, they punish 
their children for sin so they correct them. And this is how stupid Muhammad here, because if this is a true, that's mean you are punished for sin, not because you are a child of God or you are beloved by God, because God he hate you. So the Christian they say we are the loved sons of God. And here, love sons is not love uh, 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 sons physically. You know that, right? Islam is totally against the teaching of the Bible. If you ask a Muslim why you are created, he will say, Allah created us to worship only. This hadith is weak. Muslims don't quote it. Good one, Samir Abdullah. Well, what about the hadith about the sermon? The Muslims, they quote it. And who said it's a weak? The hadith of the sermon, which Muslims, they speak about it 24 hours, 7 days a week. The last sermon of the Prophet. Secondly, a weak hadith is not rejected, my friend, even if it's weak. There is rejected hadith. And there's a weak hadith. So what you are talking about is absolutely not true. The last sermon which the prophets spoke in the last days of his life, it is nothing but a fabricated hadith as you see from a Muslim website. I never heard of a Muslim saying to me, why you are quoting me for this hadith? It's fabricated. <laughs> so it is not to play the game of fabricated. They love to quote fabricated hadith when they want. And this is not a fabricated hadith. There's a huge difference. And you know what? This is go consistent with all the stories in the Quran. Allah will make the faces black and white. Allah, he hates the black man who is Ethiopian, who is going to destroy the Kaaba. Allah, the most person Allah he hates is a black man. So though this is go constant, you know, it's it's a it's consistent with all the teaching of Muhammad about black people. All right? People they can say whatever they want. Muslims, we know the Muslim agenda. The black stone was a black. Or was white? No, was white like milk, but the sin made it black. So what Muhammad is saying, sin make you black. The color of sin is a black in Islam. As simple as that. No. Sin make black people sin, black, black too. You see, Samir Abdullah, by the way, is an ex-Muslim, but obviously he have no idea what Islam is about. This guy, he left Islam, yes, but he is the same as many Muslims. They are born in a family, they are Muslims, but they have no idea. Here we go. This is Tafsir Ibn Kathir, and this is a chapter 27, verse number 82. Speaking about Allah will send a beast, it's called a jassasa and the beast of Ajassasa is going to hit you on your face and he will make your face shining white as a result. And then the same beast will hit the disbeliever with the ring of Solomon and he will make a black spot in his face and which will spread until his face is totally black. This blackness will spread all over his body. But for sure he's not naked so people will see only his face. And when people they meet together, people they say, oh, this believer. So then when the people trade with one another in the marketplace, they will say, how much is this, oh, believer? How they knew is a believer is white. How much is this, this believer? How they knew is a believer? Because he's black. So again, Samir Abdullah, you are an ex-Muslim, yes, but you have a zero knowledge of your cult. Or let's say your previous cult. By the way, always I talk to Muslims. They say to me, "I never heard this before. I never," because you know most of them they are ignorant. 
I mean, have you ever heard of a Muslim speaking to me saying, I heard this before? I never heard this before. Well, this is why I'm a Christian prince and you are not. Now, we can continue talking about racism in this cult and we can keep going and keep going but this is have to stop in certain point when Allah he says the most person Allah he hate is a black person we need to ask ourselves why we mention the color why he is a black person the Muslim they cannot say the most person Allah he hate is a Trump because according to their prophet, he is not a black. Anyway, I'm not going to stay longer for today. Tomorrow, I hope we will be live on air. I have to finish working in the book, which is going to be published very soon. For those who speak Spanish, please tell your friends about my coming Spanish book. It's going to be out in a few days from now. We are in the final process to finish it. As you see, and soon is going to be out for those who like to read in Spanish. And I hope soon we will have our book in Portuguese. And I hope soon we will have our book in Chinese. And I hope soon the whole world will know how ugly the cult of Islam is. From their fruits, you shall know them, not from their speeches. If you don't believe me about what Islam is about, Open your TV and search for the news. Every day, tons of people die in the name of Allah. But every day we hear the news saying Islam means peace. Lately, a guy who committed mascara, they start lying saying he's a Christian. The guy, he published 70 papers, he can read them. He is no Christian. Actually, he was inspired, obviously, by the cult of Islam. He is doing exactly what they did. He learned from them. He learned to do evil from the evil. The teaching of Muhammad, who says kill. Cut fingers, cut hands, rape, torture. Muhammad even, he enjoyed torture not only he enjoy killing this guy obviously he have a mental issue because when you go and you torture that's mean you have something wrong with your mind some people ride the camels of the messenger of Allah he had their hands and feet cut off and their eyes gagged out. In different hadith, it says that he did heated nails and he put it in their eyes. The Muslim, they say to us, the punishment of those who kill is killing. This is not killing no more. This is torture and this is ugliness. Putting nails in the eyes of people after you put it in fire, that is not punishment. That explains a lot about the madness and the ugliness of this man. I want to say thank you for being here and I hope we will not practice such a practice I hope we will decide to be human and to be human is to act human like I'm not going to cut legs and feet of anyone I am not going to heat iron nails and put it in the eyes of anyone I reject that 
even if he is a criminal you see the one who killed kill him but why you put nails in his eyes why you are cutting his hands and his feet make him die slowly suffering what kind of a human being he put nails in the fire and then he push it in the eye of a human being is alive and yet they say to us the Prophet of Allah was the most merciful he was sent as a mercy for mankind he was a mercy if this is mercy what is ugly and what is horror and what is filthy and what is disgusting imagine you are there watching such a scene the prophet of allah heating the nails and pushing it slowly in the eyes of a human being how nice how peaceful the prophet of allah enjoying cutting the hands and watching and the feet and this i mean he cut their hands your feet all of it he put them in the cross he cut their hands their feet and now he's not done he is not done there is something more he can do that is muhammad my, my friend and that is the truth and the truth always will set you free as my lord my savior the christ said thank you very much for being here may the lord bless you all and until we see you soon again christ is lord islam is false and please don't forget to download the video as long as soon we finish the video take a processing maybe for 20 or 30 minutes download it and share it everywhere because i know the muslims will try to take it down as much as they can for this is very exposing for their cult thank you christ is lord islam is false and see you soon bye bye